One of the things I want to talk to you about is where I was before as a musician. I was working with uh, some of my old roommates like uh, Eli, who actually his genre changed from mine. I've been working with natural instruments, playing the fiddle, acoustic guitar, like a... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, I got some catching up to do with uh, with what I'm doing right now. Um, before I was doing some recordings, or wait, okay, okay, well, I got a bit of catching up to do with uh, the things I've been talking about. I've been making videos before about how to work as a musician with other musicians using Cubase and programming the automation and the levels of, of different instruments. And what I'm working with now is uh, a friend of mine who I've known for about 10 years is a really good songwriter and he's also a really good guitar player. Um, we've come full circle with uh, a lot of things we're doing. We started out with the importance of, as a musician, playing technical music or playing precise notes or being a better musician in that aspect. But the instruments that we were using were only bringing us so far. So just this past Christmas, uh, my friend Jamie picked up uh, a Gretsch hollow body guitar, plugged it into a really shitty amp, and it already sounded amazing just when we were doing our recordings. So where we're at right now is we're taking good songwriting skills, good lyrics, a good vocalist, and better musicians putting that together with better equipment and we're hoping to be able to put together uh, a pretty solid album. So where we're at right now is I would be bringing over uh, a condenser microphone, plugging that into his limited version of Cubase, getting it recorded and bringing it back to the studio here and I'd be able to import all of those files, put them together and add in my instruments one by one. But uh, what I have right now is I have better equipment. I'm able to actually use more condenser microphones in with the Zoom R16, importing those files into Cubase 5, and the difference is phenomenal. So one of the things I'll mention quite quickly here is that with the uh, previous version, or the, the previous method of recording, I'd be using one condenser microphone and I would be experimenting, figuring out, should I put the microphone closer to the guitar? Should I put it in between uh, Jamie's singing and the guitar and picking up both? Well, that gave the the sound of, of the recording something that we didn't really want. It sounded like a live recording when we wanted something actually quite a bit more clear. We wanted... Uh, actually, I had to move the microphone closer to to pick up Jamie's vocals and then have his guitar sort of in the background and it may have sounded a little bit unclear but it didn't matter because I'd be adding extra guitar uh, afterwards after his recording so that brought the sound of the instruments into a into a better mix alright so this is the equipment that I'm going to be talking about this is the Zoom R16 it's got a bunch of wonderful really neat features here that I'll talk about in a second it's got eight tracks that I can use simultaneously. However, with the recording, I'm actually going to only be using five and six for the condenser microphones. It has built-in phantom power on that. And this also has uh, two built-in uh, microphones that actually pick up the room, and those are on seven and eight. So what I can do is I can adjust the levels, and it doesn't matter when I'm actually recording it because I can adjust the levels after they're recorded. So I would be using line 5 for Jamie's vocals, and I'd be using line 6 for just for his guitar, so I can adjust. If his guitar is too loud, I can take that down a little bit, have his vocals nice and clear, and I can also pick up the room a little bit if I want to, to get sort of a little bit of a stereo effect, because I'd be using more microphones. These are pretty high quality microphones too. So I may want to have this very minimal. I don't know if it would defeat if I don't know if it, this would actually defeat the purpose having the extra microphones here to pick up the room, but you never know. It doesn't hurt anyway, whatever. And the other important thing is here with the panning and the EQ, 
this has a digital display here and I can adjust the panning I can adjust everything for each different uh, track and I would be adjusting the EQ digitally so if there's too much low end I can take that down if the guitars or the vocals are too crisp I can also adjust that too and um, I'm still learning about it, so I don't know if that's going to record it that way or whether I can adjust that later on. I can probably adjust it later on. Uh, one thing I also noticed when I was recording vocals is that if the if the vocals are too crisp, then it doesn't really give me the sound I want, so I want to take that down a little bit. This is the condenser mic that I'll be using to record Jamie's vocals or the guitar. I got another one. And this wonderful piece of equipment actually has a built-in tube and you can get different uh, tubes that will do they'll give you a slightly different sound this will give you a nice warm tone which is really great for recording and I can adjust the drive and the gain and stuff like that and there's other couple other buttons there this thing down below I don't really use it so much it's hard to actually see it it's just like a little rack thing and it takes out some of the humming and stuff like that if I'm using like an electric guitar or whatever so anyway, what I would do is I take this over to where Jamie is doing the recording. I can save quite a bit of information on an SD card built in here. And then I got, for every song, I got four different tracks. I got one for each track that I'd be recording, and I can import those directly into Cubase. So I'll show you how, how I would import that and what I can do with it later on. So I'll show you some of the tunes we're working on. This is uh, Jamie's vocals and his guitar playing. This is from a, from an earlier recording when I only had one condenser microphone. And uh, I had to just hopefully put the microphone in the right place where it picked up his vocals uh, pretty clearly and his guitars in the background. And these other tracks are what I did when I got home. So they're all isolated. So if I was to play the guitar when I was with Jamie, my guitar would also be in here and I wouldn't be able to take it out or adjust it. I just have to hope for the best and I don't really like that idea. So what I have here, it's labeled Melody Guitar. So that's a guitar that I put in the background. I can adjust that. I got the bass which is only coming through on one side because I had some crappy equipment at the time. And a couple extra uh, fiddle tracks that I put in. So these green buttons here on the on each track show that I've actually programmed the automation for these instruments which means that when I play the song through these faders will move automatically and I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about uh, in the song I was able to drag these dots up and down and I'd have to go back to a part where the violin comes in or the fiddle comes in a certain part and it, the volume increases so I put that up just at the right moment so it brings it up and it brings it down there in a quiet part and then I'll bring it up here or whatever and then at the end I cut the, uh, the fiddle out so it doesn't have me dropping the bow and doing all sorts of other stuff that I don't want in the song and that's also at the beginning. I have the, uh, the fiddle coming through just at the right moment and so that's automation. That's another part of uh, songwriting that happens after the recording. So what I'll do is I'll play a little bit here and I'll show you how this sounds. I'm going to give you two versions here. So this is just Jamie by himself. When I want to tell you so much When I see you alone My throat closes up when you pick up that phone The song can't describe you Okay, so that's how he sounds just by himself. I'm going to add in three different fiddles, bass guitar and a melody, bleh, melody guitar. When I want to tell you so much when I see you alone, my throat closes up when 